Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review, a very special Marvel Legends figure. We are looking at the second HasLab Marvel Legends project. We are looking at the Galactus, the Devourer of Worlds. And I'm so happy to have this in hand right over here. This package is gigantic. It's the largest box I've had on my review station. The second largest was the Sentinel HasLab figure packaging, and you can see a side-by-side -side over here how the Galactus is definitely taller, standing at about 35 inches and about 22 inches across. By the way, I do remember Hasbro hosting a fan vote for the artwork for the box, and I'm really happy they went with this one. I believe this is the one I voted for too, and I think it was option number four. Uh, let me know if you remember, but yeah, the artwork just looks great. I'm stoked to get the Frankie Ray and the Morgue figures. I'm happy with what they've done with the corner logo right over there, and it says HasLab number two, 2022. Pretty sweet, 14 and up. And then on the side right over here, you can see a bunch of circuitry stuff and everything. Then you have this really nice artwork right here on the back. All these planets and stars and some Galactus satellite stuff going on right there. Looks very cool. It says Marvel Legends series HasLab. And then on that side right there, you can see more of that, uh, you know, satellite circuitry stuff going on, which I think just looks really, really badass. On the top, it just says HasLab Galactus, and there's not much more going at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack this thing open, which I actually already did. You can see how light it is, you know. But anyway, let's crack this thing open again. But first, trying to get your other Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. <laughs> and here is Galactus out of the packaging. Holy crap, this thing is freaking amazing, man. Yeah, he does not fit on the rotating base, but he does fit on the review station better than the box uh, did. But I just wanted to do a little turnaround action right over here so you can get a look at the side of the figure. This is massive. I really like the weight of it, by the way. It's not super heavy. Uh, the hollowness in the middle of it actually really helps things. Like, it just makes it easier to maneuver. I guess maybe somebody might think that's kind of cheap, but... It's not light by any means, it's just not a big solid piece of plastic, which I prefer uh, because if this thing was super heavy, it would be hard to manage. But yeah, this is incredible. I can still hold it with one hand over here, but that's because I'm a super buff dude and you're hella weak, so you won't be able to. But anyway, let's get a closer look. I'm kidding! Let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure. So here's looking at all the Galactus accessories. We also have the Heralds, which we'll look at later on. But first, I want to get a look at this Doomhead because this just looks so freaking awesome. I'm not really going to have the figure displayed with this and I do like the texturing, so it's kind of weird for me to say, but I still really like it a lot. It looks badass. I like how the eyes look. This gunmetal gray is so shiny, man. I really dig it. You can see the side of the face it has all those bolts and everything sculpted in there. And then if you want to see it with the light up feature, uh, you can see that right over here. And I haven't actually tried it yet, so I don't know how well that actually works at this very moment, but I'm going to show off a picture. Uh, the hood right here is fairly soft. It's easy to port on and off the figure. So, man, uh, the seam right here, wrinkles look great. Love this thing. Damn, so cool to look at. And then we have the actual Galactus head right here, which, holy moly, this is just incredible. I love the details on this thing. One thing I really like about this figure is it is huge and massive, and it has all kinds of fine details that you expect from your smaller Marvel Legends. Like, just the detail, even on the mouth right over there, the way that's sculpted, that paint variation for that flesh tone looks really, really good. The metallic purple and maroon colors throughout, or magenta. You can see their variation of texturing right over here. That is so sick. And yeah, you do have to port these on. Uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, I haven't tried taking them off yet. Uh, yeah, I guess when you have them clipped on, they stay clipped on or you have to push this in or something. I'm not going to try to remove them. If I try breaking them just for the sake of doing that, that's going to frustrate me. So here's looking at the top of the head right over here. And then putting the batteries in is very easy to do. But man, I just want to look at all the details. I like the variation of textures throughout on this. It looks so dope. There's so much depth to it, you know? Little added gray pieces right over here. The translucent blue sections. It's just a very, very cool looking figure, man. And then to switch out the faces, I highly recommend you take the head off first and then go ahead and poke from the inside and you could remove the face like that and just smush that out. It's a very soft, rubbery material and you can get yourself an angrier Galactus, which I really dig as well. 
Holy crap, that looks great. It's very comic book looking and yeah, I think that looks fantastic. Very pleased with that. And then you also have, uh, was it the, the Death Machine or the Galactus Machine? It, uh, if I could just remember off the top of my head. God, I love this one too. I wish I had like some extra Galactus heads just so I could have all the variations available. Just not, don't need all the giant figures, but man, this looks so badass. Look at the detail in the teeth, the bone color, the color variation for the bone looks so freaking good. Oh, so happy with that. Ooh, could be a little tricky sometimes poking this out through like that. Just wanted to demonstrate, but yeah. Still looks fine, nothing ruined. Did come with a little bit of extra black paint stainage on this side right here. That's not from my doing or anything. And then it does take four AAA batteries, two over here for the head and then two for the back of the figure. Uh, you just wanna screw that off with a small screwdriver and put your two AAA batteries in there. It's very easy to do. And then, oop, I already hit the button. There's a button on the back right over there. And this sits in there nicely. It doesn't click, but man, yeah, the light-up feature looks really good, and I love the detail in the eyes right there. Yeah, there we go. If I shut off a few lights, you could see this a whole lot better. Wow. Oh, that looks sick. Yes. I wish you had sounds. I'm a little bit spoiled from the Marvel Universe version, you know? And then this blinks and stuff. Ah. Oh. Very, very cool. It does come with instructions, by the way, on how to do that. It's very easy to do. And then I'll show off the other light up features later on. Oh, and they have this painted baby blue instead of it being, you know, an actual light going through there. Uh, I'm not bummed out about that. I like that they painted it and the paint looks very clean right there too. Now, one thing I don't like about the light up feature is that it only lasts about like four minutes, something like that. And I wish it could last a whole lot longer because while I'm taking pictures, it'll just shut off on me and I have to turn the light back on. But one really cool thing is that there is a sensor in here connected to the torso so that when you press the chest button, it lights up not only the chest, but the head as well. If you want to light up only the head, you could hit that button right there. Or there's this secret function. Big shout out to Frecky. I did not know about this. He told me about it where if you have a remote, you can turn it on via remote if you point underneath at the head or you could hit any button and it should light up the head all just with the remote so let's see it's kind of tricky to do it with this this is a fire stick remote right here but let's see if it works <laughs> And again, we get different kinds of textures throughout on this thing. I love all the details. We get these hexagon shaped uh, little patterns throughout on the torso and on the arms. Uh, we got some more baby blue dots point painted. I'm pointing at them and they are painted. And this is a fairly rigid plastic over here. Uh, just a little gripe is that I think from moving the arm up, I did kind of gnaw just a little bit at the inside of the bicep so i have like just a tiny little scarring right over there i'm pointing it out just so you can be careful with your galactus that's all so it could have been worse but yeah just don't let the bicep run into this piece right over here is what i'm getting at just be careful with that uh, you get some really nice texture detail with the wrinkles with the pinless elbow well they're not pinless but they're ratcheted so Guess that's okay. Nice detail. It doesn't bother me is what I'm trying to say. We have sculpted detail wrinkles inside the elbow joint right there too. So that's very cool to see. And then the forearm looks really good. More baby blue painted right there. You have a little bit of this dull gunmetal color and then the detailed magenta painted inside those little shapes right there. And then the hands are made with this really metallic looking, ooh, what the heck is that? And a little bit of glue or something on there. Or maybe the kids did something because I did play with this in the living room, but I was with the kids. So I don't remember them doing that. But anyway, you can see that you have this metallic magenta color right there for the hands, along with that gunmetal gray plastic color. Looks so freaking awesome. Let's see if we can see the back of that. And then you have some more gunmetal stuff right here on the inside of the forearm. But wow, this is a big figure. There's looking at the back of the hand. And we have really good articulation on this figure too, man. I mean, just to go over the hand articulation, you can rotate here and it hinges. And then you also get a hinge at the thumb. And I don't think it rotates at the thumb, but you get rotation at each of the knuckles. And then you get two or actually three joints in every finger and you could rotate each of these fingers side to side. So this is like the best hand articulation I think you could get. This is just awesome. Uh, I really like that a lot. And right, here's looking at the back of the figure. And again, I turned this on to port the batteries in. You wanna remove this plate right here. 
And then to get the batteries inserted into the back of the figure, you just remove that plate and then screw this off and put your two Chipotle batteries in there and then just put this back on. And then the button is this, or no, it's in the front again, duh, dork. But yeah, you can see the rest of the figure or the back of the figure looks really good. We get color variation. We get some gunmetal gray paint detail right over here with these shapes. That looks really cool. Uh, the whole skirt section has all kinds of intricate details to it. I just love it, man. It's such a nice thing to look at and it functions so well for me anyway. I'm just really, really pleased with this thing. I think the Ruckus is claiming this is the best Marvel Legends figure ever. I'll let you know if I agree with that at the end of the video and to turn that on again, see how cool that looks. Damn, that looks badass. Going back to the skirt, the front of it right here, looks great. Legs look really good. Nice wrinkles and details in there along with the sculpted lines. And then you have some more uh, hexagonal patterns on the inside of the leg right there. Kind of tricky to get into the shot. The boots have this nice shiny magenta color. And again, we have these baby blue parts painted out. Nice details right there on the feet too. Jeez, this thing is amazing, man. Look at that. Oh, all the sculpted detail on the back of the legs, the ratcheted knees, color variation, everything about it. More baby blue on the back right there. I didn't expect to see that. And you get treads at the bottom of the feet. Oh man, that's really hard to pick up on camera, but yeah, I'm holding it with one hand. Told you I was super buffed. To go over the rest of the Galactus articulation, you can turn the head side to side. It does wobble a little bit and it doesn't really look up at all can shift downward and yeah it doesn't have much forward and back movement right over there the shoulders can move outward that far and i really like how they're on ratchet joints so that when he's holding heralds uh, it's not going to slump downward now again what i had mentioned before and i'm going to use this side in case i you know scuff again but watch out for the bicep running into the side of that panel uh, you can't get the arms moving straight forward if you want them moving forward they're going to have to move outward a bit and they can move back. Uh, you get the bicep swivel in there, also ratcheted. I think they've ratcheted everything. And then you get double jointed elbows that bend in at 90 degrees. You also get rotation at the forearm right here underneath this piece. The gray part will rotate side to side and the wrists will hinge up and down and rotate side to side there. Also, I went over the finger articulation already and then the diaphragm joint is kind of tied uh, to the whole piece kind of like the vest strap or suspenders anyway so you can get that to turn a bit yeah it turns just like about one click one direction and then you can recenter it and click it the other direction and be careful to you don't want to pop this guy in the bottom of his chin or else you're going to uppercut his head off uh, you can get him crunching forward just a little bit and back a little bit right there and again he does pivot at the diaphragm too Ooh, i'm sweating man uh there's no waist cut the legs and these panels will shift around so they're pliable and everything so that's good but yeah you get the legs outward that much move them inward you can get the legs to kick forward just a bit that much and back a little bit you get upper thigh cut in there the pinless double jointed knees and they are ratcheted Ooh, they bend all the way in yeah Woo. And then you get boot rotation right there. The ankles do move down. Sorry, it's all blurry. And they do move up. And he has beautiful ankle pivot. And then these panels kind of flap up and down so they allow for that ankle movement. So that's very cool. And these are actually hinged in right here. It's not just a flap that bends. It turns into the shin right over there when you lift this up. And then here's looking at the heralds. And wow, we get a lot of interchangeable pieces with these figures i am really stoked for this the silver surfer looks a whole lot better than what i had seen at san diego comic-con earlier this year i really like this silver paint a lot it looks really good and they did give him a new head sculpt which i do like this walgreens exclusive one does stand out on the shelf a little bit more and i feel like there's a slight difference with the silver paint like it seems just a tone darker right here with the older one uh, what do you see as far as the difference in the silver paint? It looks very, very identical to me. I just feel like this looks a little bit cooler. I feel like this figure still pops a little bit more, but I really like this. If this was my only silver surfer, I would still be very happy. We know the articulation on this figure. It's the same. Oh, they actually did change the upper torso. We get a hole in the back of this one, and we don't have a hole in the back of that one. I, ju I just noticed that right now. Uh, you have the interchangeable hands. So you have the fisted hands right here. Then you have the wide open hands. 
hands, and then you have the flat hands. One thing I did notice is that the plastic choice right here does have silver mixed in with it. And I feel like this duller, shiny plastic color that you're seeing for that peg, I feel like that was the color of the entire Silver Surfer from what we'd seen at San Diego Comic-Con. But I could be mistaken, because this does look shinier than I remember uh, seeing behind the glass. You only get one uh, Power Cosmic effect, which is fine with me, because I think the yellow ones are a little bit more comic accurate. Then you get this display stand, which looks very cool, and you could fit this into the palm of Galactus, which I'll show off later on. Uh, but yeah, you get this piece right over here where you could just slide the board through. And I felt like I didn't damage the board at all. Like while sliding this in and out of that stand, I feel like I didn't damage the paint to this thing. And you only get that one peg sticking up. So yeah, this still looks pretty good. Uh, to demonstrate, you could slide in or you could just pry it in. This is malleable enough where it's like not going to break anything. So you could do that and slide it around. Then you get articulation right over here. So it rotates and it does have a hinge right over here. It's always at a weird angle, but... You know, if you mess with it and balance it correctly, you can get the poses that you want out of this thing. I really do like it. And if it's not standing in the hand of Galactus, you could go ahead and just rest it on the floor like that, too. So I think that's badass. Then we have the Frankie Ray Nova, which I'm stoked to finally have in the Marvel Legends. And I think they did a great job with this head sculpt. The lipstick looks good. The eyebrows look great, man. I really like that. Unfortunately, though, she has a ton of marbling going on, like through the face right there. Ah. That's so annoying, and that's not a scuff. You can see that brown eyebrow is painted over that marbling line right there. The hair looks really good. I love that we're getting the paint detail. This is what I wanted to see on the HasLab of Engine of Vengeance. Dare I mention that right now while we're in a happy place? But yeah, this looks really good to me. I, I'm pleased with that hair. That looks fantastic. But yeah, the marbling throughout on this figure, and I do appreciate the body choice we have, or the body mold choice. We've seen it before. But we have the double jointed elbows, pinless, and I have a marbling seam coming right through the side of that left breast, and that's really annoying. I wish they could have painted over it like how they'd done with this Iron Man right over here. The 80 years Iron Man has perfect gold, right? Uh, there's no weird stuff going on here. I mean, look at the legs. Uh, you can see my thumbprint on there a little bit, but <laughs> look, look how it's reflecting light. This is a scuff on me, you know, from me anyway. But this gold is better than this gold, in my opinion. It's just not as smooth. I mean, you could see certain, there are certain parts where you can't see the marbling, but then it creeps back up again, like on the hip right there. You could see it on the butt for sure. So, yeah, that looks gross. I wish they painted this over, especially with it being a HasLab. I really wish they painted it. Uh, you may want to heat it up to loosen up the joints, especially with the head joint over here. She does have a neck hinge in there, which I do like. She also has interchangeable hands. So uh, you get the wide open hands right over here. And then you have weapon holding hands. That I, I don't know what she holds as a weapon. And they all have the hinges that move up and down. And then you get this base for her, and you could port this into the left hand of Galactus. You could port them on either hand, but it's really made to fit on the left side. But again, that yellow paint over the translucent orange plastic just looks great to me. It is tricky getting her posed on this thing. You can see that you get a little peg sticking out, and that's for her left foot. I guess the right foot could go in here. What helps is getting this piece wrapped around her leg. So if I try to position that, then kind of pinch this around her calf like that, then I could get that foot ported in place. That feels pretty secure. You could pose it around as you wish, but I just wanted to demonstrate at least this part. It seems like there's a part for her foot down over here. And then we have Morg, which is the brand new figure. And I think the strongest of the Heralds, right? Uh, based off of my research anyway, and my understanding of the character, I mean, he was already a savage SOB before he became a Herald. Uh, Morg the Executioner, I'm really glad that they made this figure. And I love the texturing and I love the paint apps throughout. We have this nice black or I guess darker red color going throughout. And then you can see the gray mixed in with the white for the hair over here. This is all brand new stuff, man. Uh, they don't have any details sculpted into the hinges. I would appreciate that if they did it. So they didn't do that, but this looks pretty good. And then they have the silver plastic. It's not painted silver or anything, and it's fairly soft right over here, so you're not going to poke anybody or yourself. And then you can see the arms right here. Oh, man. Ah, oh, the details right there look fantastic. I really like it a lot. The hands look pretty good over here. He has his three fingers and his thumb. Same thing on this side right over there. Looks pretty good. 
then you have this then you have this waistband piece and this all this is new stuff right and they have slight difference in color from the different plastic right there but you know it mostly looks consistent and i like the wrinkles in that and everything and then the boots again not painted silver like comparing it to the new silver surfer you can see it's not as shiny right but still looks pretty good to me. I feel like this is kind of like what the Silver Surfer looked like on display at SDCC. I could be totally mistaken about that. Then these spikes right over here, and you get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. I'm going to go over the articulation right now, too, because uh, I want to do the size comparisons in a minute. When you turn the head side to side, uh, it will kind of angle downward. It is on a ball peg, so you don't have a neck hinge there. He will look down that much, and if you want to try to rip the head off a little bit, he'll look up. If you half it, he'll... Uh, and there is head pivoting right here too uh, no butterfly joints the shoulders will move outward at the 90 degree mark so that's good and you can move them inward pretty well if you turn that bicep of course you get the bicep swivel you have the pinless double jointed elbows that bend in all the way and then you have wrists that turn side to side and they both hinge up and down did forget to mention his axe yeah you gotta have him with his axe right here i feel like the axe should be a little bit bigger i don't know am i wrong about that but aside from that, I think it looks pretty good. You have the rivets right here on the handle. Uh, but yeah, hand articulation. You get a torso joint or a waist joint right here. No diaphragm, but it's just one lower torso joint that pivots. He'll crunch forward just a little bit, back a little bit, and turn side to side, of course. And then you get the hips that move outward that far, and he can kick forward pretty far, and he will move back a bit, upper thigh cut. Pinless double-jointed knees that bend in that much. I wish we had boot rotation. I feel like the figure really does need the boot rotation. They should do that every time. When you have a figure with boots, they should rotate like this. You know what I mean? But So we don't have that. It's a one-chance-of-a-lifetime figure, and they didn't give him the boot rotation. So that frustrates me, Hasbro. <laughs> damn it Hasbro and then you can move the ankles down they don't really move up so much due to the spikes but it does have beautiful ankle pivot and no horizontal articulation at the ankle over here either if they could have done that that would have been sweet but no they did not now to measure out all these figures you can see Galactus is standing just a little bit over 32 inches tall and then Silver Surfer is standing at about a little over six and a half inches tall Cranky Ray uh, just under the seven inch mark and it looks like Morg is standing at about about seven inches and not to forget attaching the accessories i gotta be honest man i feel like i fail every time a little bit when i try to attach these i tried following uh, the hasbro team's unboxing video and i try to get this hinge down a little bit you know and when i put this on here it's like yeah, it stays okay but sometimes it just comes off super easy so it balances fine it's tricky and finicky to deal with and this side's a little bit easier to work with for the cranky ray but still, I don't feel that comfortable with it. So it looks cool. And then you can switch them if you want to. You don't really have to have them on each of those sides. Like you can make it work one way or another. It'll, it'll grasp onto something if you flip them around. You know what I mean? So you can make it work. It's cool. But again, uh, just be careful. And for a Marvel Legends HasLab comparison, you can see Galactus next to two of my Sentinels. I wanted to show off the Master Mold head and the regular Sentinel head side by side so you can see that height difference. Galactus is really not that much taller than the Master Mold figure. The shoulders are just at about the same place, but yeah, Galactus is still the tallest for sure. And then for your Galactus comparison, you can see we have the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Galactus, the Marvel Universe 16-inch Galactus, or was it 19? Uh, I can't remember, but but anyway, then we have our 32 inch HasLab right over there. And I love what the Marvel Legends ha line has done with Galactus. I mean, I remember getting this build a figure and thinking, holy crap, this is the biggest figure I've ever seen. I think way back in 2005, I traded a whole bunch of Star Wars figures to get this guy. And yeah, I'm still very happy to have it. But this was an incredible upgrade. And I still love that it has sounds. So I do miss that feature in this one right over here. But aside from it having a lack of sounds, this is just incredible. And I also like that they all have their own different color schemes. And this is a variant, so there's the more pink looking one, but I preferred this one right over here. And then for a HasLab world devouring figure comparison, you can see the HasLab Galactus next to my favorite HasLab project. We have Unicron. I'm not gonna get into the details and everything about why this is my favorite. This one may beat it, I don't know. But right now it's totally Unicron love this figure and i was surprised to see galactus standing so much taller than unicron i just remember unicron being much taller but yeah now that i have him down from the rafters i'm going to transform him into a planet again and i'm very much looking forward to it and then for some heralds comparisons you could see the walgreens silver surfer again next to the haslab silver surfer those silvers are very identical to each other i could barely tell
tell the difference really there's just a darker hue to this one and then that one still looks fine and then the frankie nova comparison this is my old toy biz one that i've had hanging from the ceiling and she's all back metaled out really wish we could have gotten that kind of treatment with that frankie ray nova right over there and then here's the iron man one more time just to see uh that gold differentiation right there I, I would have preferred to see this kind of paint on that figure the lack of gold paint on frankie nova is actually my biggest gripe with this whole set and then here's our new heralds figures next to the other heralds of galactus that i have in my collection we have the terax build a figure and then we have fire lord and thor from the controller build a figure wave which i will be reviewing sooner than later i just gotta say again i love that hasbro released these two figures well and terax too were reissued re-released terax around the same time as this has lab galactus has come out and then here's galactus and his heralds next to our most recent white and blue themed fantastic four figures we have the thing the transitioning human torch sue storm and reed richards and yes sue has the good head sculpt on there i was playing with my galactus while watching the old 90s fantastic four cartoon while they had these suits and it was a lot of fun so yeah stay tuned for the pictures and then here's all the Haslab figures next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man Oh, whoa, you guys all have the power cosmic? I wish I had power cosmic. All I have is power of letdown. <laughs> See? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Uh, well, do that stuff if you want to help out the channel. You know, it does go a long way. It does add up. And this was a lot of fun to do. Putting this video together, it's always trickier with the big, heavy, super tall figures. But man, I had a great time making this video and taking all the pictures. What a blast. I don't know what else to say. So I, I mean, I really love this Galactic this figure a lot just the figure alone it really amazes me i think there's a lot of details and there's a lot of stuff to look at over here that just make me happy to have it on the shelf like i could just look over at it and it is just visually stimulating i like it but it also has a great fun factor uh due to the middle of it being a little bit lighter i feel like it's a little bit lighter in weight than the sentinel so he's just a little bit easier to manage for me and i appreciate that i also like the articulation on this more than the sentinel so i do think this was definitely a step up and i gotta say this is arguably the best marvel legend figure ever made in my opinion at this moment in time that's how i feel about this because i'm getting all the visuals over here it's making me happy to look at and it's very fun to pose around i mean yeah it will fall over if you're not careful you got to balance it right i almost thought about wishing to articulation but uh, i'm okay without it this time around it's fine without it i prefer having the very steady flat feet you know it's a very fun figure to pose around and the heralds mostly came out great my only real serious complaint with this whole purchase was the frank the frankie ray nova's marbling in her plastic i mean i have really bad seams on that left side of the breast and the leg and i just wish she had gold paint on her that would have been dope so that's my biggest gripe i really like the morgue figure i, I mean very I, I did complain about the lack of calf swivel over there but i mean other than that man i am loving this thing and at the price point around 400 bucks i'm gonna give this haslab galactus set a sun rating of <laughs> and i'd like to know what you guys think so please let me know in the comments section below and i want to give a shout out and thank you again to the ruckus and reg henny for giving me the heads up of contacting hasbro's customer service to try to help get a move on with this thing being shipped if you haven't had yours arrive yet you know try that route you know it, it may help it may not but I have a feeling it had something to do with helping me out getting mine a little bit sooner, but it could not have. I don't really know, but I recommend you give it a shot. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, you can find that over at MarvelousNews.com, and I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and whatnot, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.